Hey everyone, I'm Ryan, and I head up the infrastructure side of things here at LogDNA. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to use the filter menu, the search, and the jump to time frame box. So, without further ado, let's get started. This is the everything view that you get landed into when you log into LogDNA. You can see log lines are in here, and they're flowing through in real time. At the top, you can see there are a number of different uh, menu, drop-down menus available, uh, one of which is All Sources. This shows your hosts that are logging to LogDNA, and you can go and even search them. For example, I can search for Nginx, and I can select all of them, and as soon as I click off of the menu, I'll now be searching only on those hosts, and you can see that, indeed, these hosts are my Nginx and a GUID here. On the All Apps menu, similarly, you can see we sort of categorize types of, of apps, such as apps or containers. In this particular case, I only want to look at Nginx, so Nginx is a type of container. I select it, I click off, and now I'm looking at the host and app for Nginx. However, if I want to look for something a little more granular, I'm going to have to use the search bar. Uh, our search syntax is very straightforward. It's very similar to Google. So I could search something like, say, website, and that'll return all results with website in it. If I want to do a little, get a little more fancy, I can do things like or API. I can even use parentheses to enclose it, and then and that whole thing with something like get, for example. And this will return results with website or API in them, and you can see that indeed there is website and API in these search results. If I go and I actually open up one of these lines, say this one here, you can see that there's a whole host of information here. You, there is parsed information in that line because this is a combined uh, Apache access log for Nginx, and you can see that you can actually select any of these values and search on them yourself. Uh, down here, there are line identifiers, and these actually match up to the all host the filter menu at the top here. And you can see the app MyNGINX, and of course, the source MyNGINX as well. Um, however, maybe you're wondering if this line happened at some other time. Maybe, let's say, something strange happened yesterday at noon, and you want to check if, if there, this line appeared. So I'm typed yesterday at noon into the time frame box, and now I jump straight to that point in time. This is pretty handy, especially if you receive alerts from a period of time and you want to check and go back. So just like before, if you open up a, a line, you can see some of the same information, and the search is also preserved. So that's all for today, and until next time, see ya.